Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and guess what time it is, guys? Oh. Is it kazoo time? <laughs> Oops! <laughs> no, Toby, it's craft time! Ah! Avocado, check. Knife, check. Let's cut this bad boy open. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that slid right off. Here's our tray thing. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put this through. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Whoa. And. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely uh, in pieces now. <laughs> Let's try the other side. Push that in. Oh yeah, that's definitely working. That's perfect. Whoa. Yeah, pieces are all cut up. Well guys, I guess we can tell it works. Uh, now I'm just kind of left with this dirty tray and a bunch of mashed up avocado pieces. <sighs> okay, time for me to clean this up. So here are our binders. There's so many. Holy crud. So it looks like we gotta lop some of these binders apart. So let's just, uh, one at a time, I suppose. First one. Here we go. They made that look way too easy. This is not that easy. Oh my gosh. Okay, one side down. Let's do the other one. Okay, Whoa. so one down. Don't need that. Bunch more to go. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. Okay. What do I do with the last two? Oh, okay, so I lop all of them apart. Well, it looks like you guys aren't getting spared either. Woo! Oh man, this one's broken. Don't need that. Here we go. Woo! Okay, let's glue all these guys together. You're going to here. You guys be good and stay together now. Here we go. It's your guys' turn. Ah! I knew that was gonna happen. I knew I was gonna burn myself at some point. Ow! It's another one for the Robbie Burns himself compilation, I, I guess. Ow. That hurts, actually. Ow. It's gotta finish this. Okay, I need to put this underwater. Okay, let's keep going. Ow, my thumb. I really don't wanna burn myself again. It's actually so hot that it's melting the binder a little bit when I do this. Oh my god, it actually melted the binder. Okay, here we go. Dang, I need more glue. Okay, here we go. Just cock that. Perfect. Uh, uh, I think this might actually work. But it's not gonna look very pretty. Woo! 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 Just burn myself again. Ouch. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let all this stuff cool. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So it looks like these guys are all cooled off. Yep, they're staying together. Let's go put these guys in a bookshelf. Okay, so here's our shelf. I'm gonna go ahead and hide my soap in there. Perfect. Now we put our binders. There we go. Oh my gosh, I would never suspect that I'm hiding anything behind there. Well, I guess we can say it works. <laughs> Okay, so this is my dad's old shoe shining kit. I'm pretty sure he used to use this when he was a kid uh, to shine his shoes or an adult. I don't really know. All I know is it looks really cool, so I stole it. Uh, I should probably give this back to him. Anyway, the zippers aren't very easy to zip open and close, so let's go ahead and try this. Here we go. Oh man, my chapstick is gonna be so gross after this. Here we go. Going on the old shoe shining kit that's probably older than I am. I'll work that in there. I mean, in a way, it is kind of like a lubricant, so I don't see this not working. Okay, here's the final test. One, two, and... Oh, wow. That is a little bit nicer. It just kind of looks a little greasy now. Okay, so that's this side. Not bad. This one's definitely harder to do on this side. Well, I guess we're gonna have to say this works! Well, might as well work into the rest of it. Here are our hangers, here's our sewing kit, the fabric we're gonna use. Let's go ahead and put this off to the side for a sec and cut this to where we want it. Yeah, that seems like it's pretty long. Let's go ahead and do like right here. Let's cut it along this way. Okay. Don't need that anymore. Now we have ourselves a perfect little foot hammock. Or the start of one anyway. Put one right here, put the other one right over here. Now we gotta sew this bad boy. Here we go. Here's our needle. Okay, looks good. Pick out our threads. Let's go with this orange one. Just kidding, this is brown. I'm colorblind. Get it through that eye. Cut that. Tie a knot. Okay, here we go. Just start sewing this bad boy. Man, this is gonna take forever. We should bring out the big boy. Oh. If this doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Okay, how do I set this bad boy up? Maybe like that? I don't really know. Okay, so how do I get this thing in here? Lift this up maybe? And then, uh, I don't know how I do this. Maybe if I plug it in, it'll work. Now we just gotta push the pedal. That's not good. <laughs> oh, there's a switch on the back. You're supposed to flip it to on. Oh, the little light turns on. Let's try it now. 
Looks like it's working to me. Okay, so let's try this again. This is kind of scary. I'm gonna turn this off for now. I don't want the needle going down in my finger. Wait, which way does this go? Oh my gosh, I hope this is going the right way. Well, we'll find out. I don't think I'm doing this right. And where'd the thread go? Oh no. I'll be right back. Okay, so Tori showed me how to use it, so we're gonna try this again. So we're gonna start this again, right here. Just real slow. Oh. Uh oh, there's a thing that's happening right here. What even is this? Okay, it looks like we did it. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. So let's do the other side. Here we go. Whoa. Man, I'm really good at this. As you can see. Oh man, this didn't work at all. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. So this down. Okay, now it's not working at all. Here we go. Oh crap. Okay, so that's broken. How do I replace the needle? Okay, so it looks like we don't have an extra needle, so uh, I can't use this thing after all. Man, this thing was such a waste of time. Well, time to do this by hand. Get our sewing kit. Actually, I already have this one that I just took off, so we're gonna use this one instead. Time to start back at square one. It's gonna take so long. There we go. Just cut that off. I mean, it's not very pretty, but I guess it'll work. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. I put them each the wrong way. Okay, we're gonna try it out anyway. Okay, so here here it is. We're just gonna put it like this and I guess twist it because I messed up. Here we go. And we're just gonna put my feet right here. Oh boy. Yeah, that's that's great. So I would dress these as like a long-term solution because it looks like they're about to break. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to say this one doesn't work. So we're gonna fill this bad boy up with water. Yeah, looking good. Now we're just gonna dump it out normal. Yeah, nothing to see here, nothing special. Then we're gonna fill it up again. Okay, so we're gonna take this, put our hand over it, swirl it up. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Now see if anything happens. Nothing! Okay, I'm gonna mix it again. Mix, 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 mix. It doesn't look any different. Okay, am I doing this wrong? I'll be right back. Okay, so I rewatched the video and all they did was this. So let's try that. There we go. It didn't look very swirly at all. Maybe I'm using the wrong kind of bottle or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay, so here's our shoe. I actually couldn't find any with the aglets already broken off, so I guess we're gonna have to do that ourselves. Well, don't need that anymore. Oh, no. My aglet won't go through my grommet. Whatever should I do? Even though it kind of just goes through real easily, uh, but you know, who cares? So we're just gonna take our clear coat and mix that up. And then I guess they kind of just pinched it together like that. Added our clear coat to it, just like that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Am I supposed to just let this dry? Because as of right now, like it's kind of like the exact same thing as it was before. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and uh, we'll follow up with this. Maybe it makes it hard or Put something. a little bit more coat on there. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe that'll work. I'll see you guys in a bit. When this is dry. Okay, so shoes all dry. Here's our new aglet. Let's go ahead and try Put it. Put this aglet through the grommet. Wow! I can't believe it! It actually works! So I guess we'll have to say this works! So here's our bottle. Now we gotta cut this part off. I haven't used this one in a while, so why the heck not? Okay, wish me luck. One, two, and... Okay, that's not working too well. Try this again. Yeah, that came clean off. I, I guess. I definitely think that's good enough. Don't need you anymore. Then we get our can of Coke. Just gonna... Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh. oh man, that got everywhere. Ugh. Well, at least it's tasty. I think we're supposed to remove the tab first. Oh God, that's so messy. Clean this off. Oh, get off of there. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we gotta glue this onto here. Use our trusty hot glue gun. Yeah, get it all around there. And boop. I'm just gonna fill in the cracks so that it doesn't come out anywhere. Now you have a convenient uh, Coke can bottle that is resealable. What else could you need? I'm just gonna overdo it on the hot glue because I really don't want this coming off on me. <laughs> it's making like hot glue bubbles. <gasps> oh, it's coming off. Oh. Oh, it's so hot! Maybe I should have, like, taken the cap off before I glued it on. Uh -huh. I guess there's nothing else to do besides let this cool down, so I'll see you in a sec. Okay, this seems like it's dry enough. Let's get our little spray bottle. Don't need that. Put that in there. Oh, man, I hope this actually fits. And it actually screwed up! Woo! Yeah, this looks great. Now time to test it and get everything all sticky. Guess what, guys? It's actually spraying! It's spraying Coca-Cola! I guess we can set this one! 
Why you'd want to spray Coca-Cola over everything, I don't really know, but well, now you can. <laughs> Okay, so here's our plastic pocket. Then we get our nail polish. I guess we'll start out with a, a green base. Look how fun this green is. That should be good. Then we're gonna go ahead and get some pink. Then we get some blue. Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay, now we're gonna start mixing it up. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Oh, there we go. That's probably way better. Some of that blue, some of that green, some of that pink. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white, actually. Oh, there we go. Okay, now let's mix this bad boy up. Just like they did. Just like that. And then like that. Okay, now let's let this bad boy dry. Okay, so this looks like it's all dry. Let's try and peel it off now. I hope I'm doing this right. Oh my gosh. It's actually coming off. Oh my gosh, I didn't think that would come off this clean. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. This is actually working. I'm kind of surprised. Whoa. It actually worked. Okay, I think I'm gonna need another hand here. Perfect. So I guess we start off with our base coat. I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, just get it up in there. We're gonna put some of this green on here. Go. It feels like it's actually kind of sticking on already. Whoa. And we gotta cut this bad boy off. Don't move. Don't move. Come on, you can do it. Doesn't want to cut off. Oh, it's working. It's working. Come on, you can do it. Okay. I think that's good enough. <laughs> what the heck even, dude? Okay, now let's put another base coat on this. Maybe put that little chunk on there. Fill in that gap where I messed up. <laughs> Now your nails look just as beautiful as mine. I'm so sorry. This looks like a kindergartner did your nails. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Well, I guess we can say it works. Kinda, kinda, it kinda works. It doesn't look very good, but it works. And that's all that matters. Yeah. Okay, so here's our bottle. All we have to do is heat this up. Just like that. And we gotta push that down. Oh no! I forgot to empty everything out of it first. Oh, uh, that didn't really make a dent in it at all. I'm just gonna heat it up some more, just like that. Maybe this will do something, I don't know. Okay, it's officially melted a hole through it. So push it just like that. Pull that off. Here's our glass Coke bottle. And then we're just gonna put this on here. And maybe that'll open it? I don't know. Uh, it's not working. How the heck do they do that? I'm gonna try this again with the other side. Okay, light it on fire, just like that. Let me push it down just a little bit. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe it'll work now that it has more of a hook. Come on, you can do it. Ugh. Ow, my finger. Open! I can do it with a lighter. Watch this. Okay, maybe I can't do it with a lighter. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. So here's our wrinkly shirt. As you can see, it's pretty wrinkled right there. I've never seen such a wrinkled shirt in my life. So we're just gonna go ahead and get our pot of water. And uh, I've never actually ironed anything before, so this is a first for me. How the heck do I keep this from like wrinkling back? You see that? It keeps going back to like super wrinkly. Maybe if I thumbtack it down or something? Just like that, maybe. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that should do it. Here we go. Oh! my hand. Theoretically, this should straighten my shirt. It kind of looks like I have some sweaty armpits now. Whoa! It is ironing my shirt a little bit. Wow. That actually does kind of look straighter. Is this working? I feel like it's not really working as well as it was before. Probably because it got way cold. I mean, it is a little bit straighter, but it's not, like, super straight. Especially when I let it go, because... When I hold it straight, it becomes straight, but when I let it go, it just kind of does its own thing. I don't know, I feel like this one doesn't really work. Is that straighter than this side? Uh, they kind of look the exact same. So I'm gonna have to say that this doesn't work. Okay, so here's our image. Let's go ahead and cut it out. Here we go. Okay, now we gotta try and get it out without ripping it. And I guess we'll glue this on. Uh, let me get a glue stick. Where the heck are my glue sticks? Okay, I can't find any glue sticks, so we're just gonna use some super glue instead. I'm sure this won't end terribly. Well, it looks like our super glue doesn't work. I'm gonna go get another pack. Here we go. There we go, put that on there. Finally, we can put our th thing on. I'm just gonna say that this is definitely gonna stay on when I put it on. All I have to do is make sure not to get it on my fingers because this stuff does not come off. Ah. Let's see if I can do this. One, two, and... Okay, oh. no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, okay, we did it. Put it all down. Now it's time to drip some crayons. I gotta take all the papers off first. Probably should have done this beforehand. Oops. 
Okay, we got all those off. Uh, let's go ahead and try this. So I guess we'll start from lightest to darkest. Uh, do I have a yellow, actually? Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a yellow. We're gonna put that in there. I need to get a pencil or something. I feel like there's still glue in this guy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try and get all that out. I'm just gonna put a pencil in there, and maybe that'll work. So I'm gonna push it a little bit. Okay, cool, we got some yellow coming out. There's definitely some glue stuck in there, though. Um, we're gonna put the yellow, and we're gonna put some of this orange. Um, now we gotta try and make it look like she's spitting color. Come on. I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly push it out. Oh my gosh. This is such a mess. I don't know how they did this. It's like coming out of the back right here. Ah! Come on. Oh my god. Oh, that's such a mess. I definitely ruined this glue gun, that's for sure. <laughs> That sounds so gross. Maybe if I put some hot glue in there, I think that might do something. Let's try it. Oh, it's kind of working. Come on, come on. I gotta put something underneath it. Yeah, there we go. I gotta make it look like she's spitting color. Come on. Ah, they definitely make this look easier than it really is. Oh gosh. Now it's just spitting out hot glue. Ah, I'm gonna put some purple in there. Maybe that will do something. Maybe I have to let it slowly drip out. Oh, we got purple coming out. Very little purple though. Oh. I think I may have just broken this glue gun. Oh my gosh. Maybe like this? Okay, oh, it's coming out. Oh, it's working. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. I got hot glue all over my hand. Oh my gosh, that really hurt. Woo! Ow, dude, that freaking stings. Oh, I got it all over the glue gun. This doesn't look like it's working too well. Yeah, it looks great. Honestly, it looks fantastic. I mean, besides messing up the glue gun, I guess we're gonna have to this one works. Okay guys, so since I did such a great job painting my own nails, uh, can I get a hand? Uh, perfect! I didn't want to paint mine anyway. Anyway, let's try this! Okay, we got our dental floss. Wrap it around this bad boy. Just like that. And we get our nail polish. Hold that. Just, yes, yeah, I need to open this. I Hold just, the bottle. Just the... Okay, cool. Awesome, we got okay, it. Okay, let's paint this bad boy. I'm an expert nail painter. So, I, I know this is gonna turn out great. Perfect! Okay! Yeah, this is looking pretty good. This is the best nail painting I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> the best nail painting I've ever done. Now that the nail's fully painted, let's take this bad boy off. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, that didn't work at all. I think I may have put a little bit too much nail polish on. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say this one didn't work. Okay, so here's our can of olive. Here's our wall. Or rock, as they said. Let's see if we can get these bad boys open. I think this is gonna take a while. It's quite the workout. Oh my god. Oh, some old juice got on the wall. I think it's opening. I think it's almost open. Come on. Come on. Oh, I got it open. It worked. Oh my god! I guess we're gonna have to send this one! Okay, so here's our nice and refreshing Coca-Cola. Not sponsored, by the way, guys. I wish I was sponsored by Coke. That would be cool. We get our chopsticks. Apparently, we're just supposed to put it like that. And then we push up. You ready? One, two, and ow! One more time. One, two, and oh, almost. Ooh, we're kind of chipping a little bit here. Okay, ready? One, two, and I'm kind of scared. This is kind of scary. One, two, and Okay, I'm gonna try it with the back part. I think the chopsticks have to be like stuck together, but I don't have any of those. These are the only ones I have. I don't want to hit my hand on the sharp part, so. One, two, and. Ah! Why isn't this working? I'm gonna go ahead and try it with a screwdriver instead. One, two, three, and. Oh, it almost did it! One, two, and. Oh, oh no! It's exploding! It's exploding! It did open though! <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, here we go. One, two, and. Oh, One, two, and. Ah! One, two, and. Uh, Let's finish it off with these chopsticks. This is so much harder than I thought it would How be. How the heck am I supposed to hold this? One, two, and... Uh, okay, I can't seem to get this to work. Okay, so I'm having a really hard time with this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that for the average person, you can't really just do this on the first try, uh, but with some practice, I'm sure you can do it. So I'm gonna say this kind of works. Here's my favorite method of opening a bottle. You ready? You put it on the table, and then you just go... Uh, now that's how you open a bottle.
So here's our cup of water. Here's our shaving cream. Shake, shake, shake it up. Put that all over the top. Oh yeah, that looks like plenty. Then we're gonna get our food coloring. I'm gonna start off with red and then put some right here. I put quite a lot in there, so I think this will do something. And then we'll put a little bit of blue. Oh no, it leaked all down the side. That's not supposed to happen. We're just gonna ignore that part. How if we mix some of the food coloring with, oh, it's doing it. <gasps> it's actually, do oh, that looks so cool. Whoa. That is so cool. The blue and the red kind of mixed together. Let's try green. Let's put green in there. I feel like I'm supposed to mix some of this water with it. I'm gonna try this. Is that gonna leak through? You can do it green. Dude, that looks so weird. What the heck? It's just leaking through It's it. getting a little bit muddy, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. Okay, here's our fresh cup of water. I'm gonna go ahead and actually put this white paper on here so you can see it a little better. That green got everywhere. Not bad. Okay, I'm gonna try not adding so much shaving cream this time. Okay, not bad. Add our green. Whoa! Whoa. It's working! Dude, that looks so cool. Add our blue. <laughs> Sick, dude. Add our red. Dude, that looks so sick. It's just like leaking out from the top of it. And it's making one giant black mass. Oh, I turned it and it's just like, oh wow. It's just mixing up right now. Well, I guess we can say it works. So first we gotta grab our box. Then we get our string. Sorry, box. Grab our hot glue gun. Take that off, plug that in. Okay, cool, now we just gotta wait for this thing to heat up. I'll see you guys, whatever that is. Okay, it looks like this bad boy's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a new background. Oh, that's much better. So we get our box, we get our rope. Where the heck is the end? Here's the end. And we're just gonna start gluing this on. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna take a long time, I already know. Get a little bit lower. Here we go. Good, good, next side. Oh my gosh, and it looks like we are done with this part anyway. I'm just gonna go ahead and clip that. Boom. You know what, this doesn't look too bad actually. I kinda like that. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry a little bit and then we'll do the next part. Okay, it looks good. Now for the hard part. I don't really know what they use for that liner, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of my beanies. So just put that there and boom. Yeah, that looks uh, pretty good, I guess. I don't know. Let's see, what kind of things can we put in here? We put our tools, my phones, two stones, trombone. Just kidding, this is a bugle. This is a trombone. And it doesn't fit. And the best part about filming this on a green background is it could literally be anywhere. Now it's in the middle of the desert. Now it's on the moon. And now it's in my favorite movie, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. As you can see, this thing is very useful. So I guess we're gonna have to say it works. So this is my very first DSLR. My parents got it for me when I turned 18 and uh, it served me well. I think I've made like a thousand videos with this thing. I got this grip for it that actually takes double A batteries. So let's see if this will actually work. Take the batteries out. One, two, three, and four. Don't need those, might as well throw those away. Get our tin foil. Am I supposed to wrap the tin foil around it? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Aha, next one. Okay, last one. Now we're just gonna pop that in there. Take the battery out. If you guys have one of these grips, a uh, little trick. You can actually put the battery door right there. That way you don't lose it. So we just pop that in. Okay! Yeah, it looks good. Now theoretically, this should turn on. You ready? Okay, one, two, and... <gasps> it didn't turn on! I wonder what happened. Maybe it didn't go in all the way. Oh. It's not working! Maybe this is just too much for this little battery. It's so weird that this isn't working. Okay, let's try something else maybe. Okay, here we go, maybe this will work. It's a Fujifilm camera. We're just gonna go ahead, pop one of these batteries out. I'll only try it with one battery this time. Put that right there. That's so weird, it's not turning on. Did I not put like proper tin foil on this or something? Cause I know that this actually does work. I wonder why this isn't working for me. Maybe it just depends on like what the device is. I'm not sure. Let's try both sides. Will that do something? <gasps> I heard it turn on. I heard it turn on. <gasps> it turned on. Oh my gosh. It's actually working. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take a photo of you guys like this. You ready? One, two, and let's go ahead and wait for this to turn out. Okay. So I guess we can say that this worked. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, guys, so here's our lock. Here's our wrenches. I think they use, like, bigger ones, so we'll just use these two bad boys. Let's lock this together. And then apparently, they just put one here and then one right here. And then they kind of just pulled them apart. Oh, boy. This is going to be a little scary. Ready? One, two, and... Oh my god, it actually works! Well, kind of. I think it still needs a little bit more. But whoa! That's so cool! It broke it apart! Oh my gosh, I didn't think that would actually work. This is a pretty sturdy lock, too. Keep twisting it. Here we go. And... Oh my gosh! Yeah, that would be like enough to like get it out of there. Dude, that is so cool! This actually works! Well, I guess we're gonna have to say this works! Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Here's our box. Here's the cup I'm going to use. Let's go ahead and draw some circles, shall we? One right there. This side looks good. I'm ready to do this side. Next side. So it'll be like that. Yeah, I think that might work. Next, we need to cut the circles out. Woo. This is definitely the correct way to cut this. No, it's not. I need to fix this. Maybe we'll get some GoPro shots in here. Oh, hey, how's it going? You can tell I really tried on that one. Okay, let's get all this junk out. Don't need any of that. Now we gotta add all the cups. That one kind of fits. Oh, no. I think I was actually supposed to cut out the bottom of these, too. It's gonna take forever. Maybe if I put all the cups kind of in one spot and then try and cut out the bottom, it'll work. Oh, man, these bottoms really cut really easily. Ooh, that kind of worked. Add some more. This is actually working. Woo, yeah, that ought to do it. Put this in here. Okay, glue gun's all warmed up. Here we go. Here we go. Now we gotta wait for this to cool. Okay, glue's all cooled. Uh, let's put our phone in this bad boy. I forgot to cut the hole. Let's do that right now. I'm never gonna find that. Oh, okay, so right here. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's put some tunes on. Oh, wait, I can't actually play any good music because I'll get copywritten. Let's look up some royalty-free music. Okay, so that's just playing out of my phone. Let's see how it sounds now. I feel like this kind of sounds the same. Maybe if I put my whole phone in there, because I think there's speakers on both sides. Okay, so we're just gonna... Oh, that sounds a lot louder. I just realized I can't get it out now. How am I supposed to get it out? I didn't think about this. Well, it looks like we have to operate. I'll save you, Bob! Where are you? Ah, oh, get out of there! Why did I do this to myself? Okay, let's try it again. You tell me which one you think is louder. You ready? the exact same. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, uh, it doesn't work, guys. I don't think it does, but it looks pretty cool. I mean, now I have like a weird boombox thing. I don't even know what you'd call this, but I have it now. It's cool. So thanks a bunch, 5 Minute Crafts. Okay, so it looks like we have to start out with some pre-painted nails, so let's go ahead and paint my nails a little bit. I am a master at painting my nails, guys. I've done it at least uh, two times. Here we go. Man, I actually kind of hate the smell of nail polish. It always burns my nose. I just have to let this sit and dry for a second. Okay, so here's our newspaper, and I actually already cut out some of the ones that I'd want. This is a classic barcode, a word search, and one dollar off. Here's some vodka. By the way, guys, I don't drink. Uh, I don't really endorse drinking. Drinking is not fun. So we just dip our finger in there for a sec, and we pull it out. Now, apparently, we're just supposed to let this dry. So I'll see you in a sec when this dries, okay? Okay, so I let it dry a little bit, and it looks like, uh, I don't know, it just kind of looks funny. I don't really think this one works. We'll go ahead and try this again. I'm gonna go ahead and leave my finger in the vodka for a little bit longer. Okay, now let's try the word search. Go ahead and plop that on there. Just wait again for that to dry. It looks like it kind of worked again. We got like the boxes, but it's not like super prominent. I'm gonna try it one more time with the $1 off. We're just gonna put our finger in there, let it soak for a sec, and we take it out, and we're just gonna plop this $1 right on there. 
Maybe I'm gonna put some more vodka on there. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, really get it in there. I can see straight through the paper now. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and uh, I'll let you guys know what happens. Okay, so this is fairly dry. Uh, let's see how it turned out. Wow, I can actually see the $1 on there. It's not like super clear, but I mean, it's actually on there. Well guys, I guess we said this one works. Sorry, guys. So here's our phone case. Well, not yet. Let me just, uh, oh, oops. There we go. Broke it a little bit. My bad. Uh, yeah. No. I'm gonna take the buttons off. Oh, no. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, I'm just gonna, you just, over there for now. Do I tear this off? Do I, okay, that's coming off. You're also over there. Cool. So here's our photo. It's a pretty cringy old photo of me. I hope you guys enjoy this it. This is what we're gonna be using. That's my new phone screen protector background thing. I don't even know what to call this. So apparently we're just supposed to put some PVA glue in there. Well, on the photo. So kind of like that. Oh no, I think I was supposed to brush it off. Uh, will this work? I feel like that'll do something. I think it needs more. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna work. Wait, I was supposed to cut it first. Oh man, I'm just, I'm really failing at this. Sorry guys. Okay, put that away for now. And we cut it to the shape of the phone. Maybe I should kind of have it at like this angle. I'm feeling that. Cut off my elbow a little bit. Just like that, yeah. It's a little crooked, but you know, it's fine. Now apparently we're just supposed to put this in there. Oh, yep, Houston, we have a problem. So I have to cut that little part out for the camera hole. Maybe more like, yeah, I think that should uh, that should do. Just push that in. Make sure it's nice and flat. Now apparently we're just supposed to let it dry for a little bit. So I'll see you when this bad boy's dry. Okay, it seems to be dry. Uh, let's see if we can get this bad boy to kind of fix itself with this uh, water and rag. I never really saw the point of this part. Like, I mean, you already glued it on. Why are we taking this part off? Do I need more water? <laughs> I put way too much. It's not doing the same thing the video did. What's happening? Oh, 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 this is coming off. And the whole picture is coming off now. Oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Okay, what the heck? Cool. It's a perfect photo of me still. Wipe all that off. Okay, we're gonna dry this off. Yeah, there we go. So I don't have that weird clear coat, whatever that is, but I do have green nail polish, so I guess uh, this will have to do. Glop it all on there, just like that. I feel like I'm probably not doing this right. But that's okay, because uh, do I do any of these right? At the bottom right here, it looks like it's coming off, so I don't know how well this is actually working. There we go. Now we're just gonna let this dry, and uh, I'll show you when we're done. Okay, so I actually got bored waiting for this to dry, so I'm gonna try a method that I found on Google on how to make your nails dry faster. All you gotta do is put the whatever it is in cold water. Then we're gonna let this sit there for two or three minutes, and then it'll be done. So I'll see you guys in two or three minutes. Okay, so I actually ended up leaving it for like an hour because I forgot about it, so this whole thing was pointless. But anyway, it still feels like it's not really like 100% dry. Maybe it works for just your nails, but not phone cases. Yeah, this looks great. What an awesome picture of me that's covered up by this light. Perfect. Well, guys, I guess we can say it works. I'm gonna give it to Tori. That way she has a phone case with my face on it. Oh, Tori Dabransky! I got you a very special present. What is it? It's a phone case with my face on it. Ew, it's wet. Yeah, Why it's is still it wet? wet. It has to dry still. I just wanted to give it to you because I was excited. And I also didn't want to wait for this to dry a third time. It's a little bit uh, wet, but it's still good. Do you like it? Bobby, this, this doesn't even fit my phone. Well, I gotta go. I, I'm glad you liked it. Here's our watermelon wedge. Oh no, I have no knife. Get that out of here. I don't have it at all. What am I supposed to do? Well, I have this dental floss. So we just uh, do this, get some dental floss, and then apparently we're just supposed to go down like that. Okay, wow, looks like it's working so far. Yeah. Okay, now for the hard part, guys. So we're just gonna uh, go underneath here. Come on, come on. This is harder than I thought. Ah, this is cutting my fingers. Keep going, keep going. We're almost to the home stretch. Woo, we did it. So apparently they just pushed it over like, like that, and they did like that. Ah, presentation is everything. Almost there. Oh yeah, perfect. Woo, it looks like I did it. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Man, I'm gonna be so sick of watermelon after this. You're weak. Ha. Guys, you'll never guess what this next hack is. You guessed it, a watermelon hack. So let's just cut off the top. Maybe I gotta go for this more like a jack-o'-lantern kind of top. Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay. Looks like we got a lot of good stuff in here. Let's cut it all out. Oh. Let's see, will that all come out? Nope, not looking good. Oh, got a little piece. I think I gotta do this more. Or even better, I can break out our old friend, the Mixitron 5000. Shove that in there and then here we go. Oh man, oh no. 
Okay. Got all the good juices. Oh no, it looks like, <laughs> looks like this thing kind of broke off a little bit. I need to replace this anyway. I've used it for so many things. We'll just go ahead and pop in a new one. There we go. Let's try this again. Oh, much better. So much watermelon juice in this. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We've now liquefied all of our watermelon juice. Let's just go ahead and dump it out. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, just like a pumpkin. Oh, got a couple of these guys in there. Wouldn't want to choke on one of those. Okay, now we'll get our dispenser. Just gonna take that off. Now I have to drill a hole that will fit this. So, uh, yeah, this looks like it'll do. Put the Mixitron 5000 away. And we break out our drill. As you can see, it's a lot different than the Mixitron 5000. Don't get them mixed up. They're completely different tools. I'm gonna go ahead and say about right here. Here we go. And we're just gonna tap it. Screw this in. Oh man. Get in there. We're trying not to break the watermelon. Just slowly but surely screw it in. And it will hopefully not break. Oh, I think I did it. It worked. Okay, now I'm gonna try and screw the back part on really quick. See if I can do this without messing everything up. It was actually going on for a second. Come on. You can do it. And I think we're good. Woo! Awesome. I made it a dispenser. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a little stand. Then we're gonna fill it with our Coca-Cola. Let's hope this doesn't leak everywhere. Here we go. I think I might need a little bit more. You know what? Let's just add some of this watermelon juice in there. What could hurt it? Am I right? Oh, that's disgusting. Watermelon Coke. Am I right, guys? Man, this looks so gross. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now let's put our top on. There we go. Oh, got a little bit coming out there. Does it dispense? Let me see. It actually comes out. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it recommended that we chill it for a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer and I'll try it in like 20 minutes. Okay, it's been a little bit over an hour. Let's test this out. I need a cup. So here we go. I'm gonna try this. Oh, it's actually dispensing. That's kind of crazy. I think that it might be getting a little bit clogged from the watermelon. Um, but overall, this idea definitely works. Let's see if this watermelon Coke is any good. It's not bad, but it's not great either. This would definitely be like a fun novelty thing I would bring to a party, uh, but I probably wouldn't put the watermelon chunks back in there. Maybe we just gotta mix it up a little bit. Come on, you got this dispenser. Oh, it's not even coming out at all now. Well, I tried, and that's all that matters. But I guess we can say this one works. Okay, now that I have this half-eaten baked potato, which was delicious, by the way, we're gonna go ahead and see if this works. So I think they put one inside out like this. Yeah, looking good. Put that in there, and we're like, oh no, our baked potato, it's too big. Actually, it fits in the bag perfectly. Uh, just pretend with me here, guys. It's just too big for this bag. This baked potato is way too big for this bag. So then we're gonna do this. Uh, come on. <gasps> it's sticking. I feel like I need practice for this or something. Okay, maybe I have to switch them. Okay, now it's not sticking at all. What am I supposed to do here? This is ridiculous. Just stick on there. Oh my goodness. Just buy bigger bags next time, guys. Oh, this is aggravating. Okay, I can't get it to freaking stick, okay? One side does it, but the other side doesn't because how it's made. I'll try it one more time. I just want to put my baked potato away so that it doesn't become bad. Oh, I got the stick. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. Okay, we got it to stick together. Well, guys, I guess we can say it works. It's just very time consuming, though. I spent five minutes doing this. Now let's try to open it up. Oh yeah, that's some nice baked potato. Mm, yummy. Okay, so here are our eggs. Let's just take these out. And we gotta get the yolk out. So I'm just gonna get this bowl. And maybe we'll get these scissors. I'll just kind of poke the top a little bit. Come on, here we go. Oh no. I'll be really careful not to break the egg. Yeah, that should be good enough. We're just gonna break the yolk inside. Pour that out. We don't need that yolk. Okay, so here's one. Let's do one more for good luck. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these out. And then uh, let's put some wax in them. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this part right here. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna use these to actually hold our eggs. It doesn't have to be super fancy, it just kinda has to work. Let's go ahead and put our wicks in. Boop, boop, awesome. I'm also gonna go ahead and make like a funnel thing. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but I'm hoping. Maybe if I make like a funnel like this. Come on. I'm gonna go ahead and tape it so it stays in place. Yeah, there we go. That's one. Make another funnel. Okay, put that in there. Looks good. Now let's try and dump some wax into this. I feel like this isn't gonna be the smoothest transition because uh, wax doesn't like to pour out of this pan very well. Oh man, here, I'll show you. 
Okay, here we go. This is gonna be so hard. Ah, ah no! Stay! It just doesn't want to get inside the egg. I'm going through so much wax. How am I supposed to pour this? I just don't know. Maybe if I use a ladle? Okay, that kind of works better. I'm at least getting some of it in. Oh, I think I just filled the egg. And next one. Oh my god, this is so messy. It's bubbling out of this egg. Oh my goodness. Oh. Getting this everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna top this egg off. Okay. Oh my god. This egg's exploding. Whoa, what happened? Oh my god. All the wax just like came out like a volcano. This is definitely way. Oh my god, it happened again. Why isn't this working? Okay, we'll try it again. Ready? Use a ladle. Oh my god. I got more on the counter than I got in the egg, that's for sure. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and let these uh, cool down for a little bit and we'll see if they're any good. Okay, honestly, uh, this has been cooling for so long and it's still like liquid. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge and uh, see what happens. Okay, so our eggs are all cooled off. Let's go ahead and try and break these puppies out. Here we go. I have to try not to break the wax inside, so I'm gonna be really careful here. Okay, not too bad so far. This kind of looks a little gross. Okay. This one doesn't look too bad. I forgot to, <laughs> oh no. No way to, oh well. Whatever. Next one. Come on. Oh, this one cracked right open. Whatever, that's fine. Let's go ahead and light these puppies. They don't seem to want to stay lit. Oh yeah, oh, there we go. I thought I was gonna have to break out the blowtorch there for a second. Yeah, so so far they're staying lit. Uh, let's turn off all the lights and see how these guys look. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Well guys, I guess we're gonna say this one works. Here's our row, here's my plan. This is Tuss. I don't know if any of you guys would really remember this guy. So it looks like we have to go and make the Airbnb symbol and then we have to twist it right here. Okay, I think I already cut this uh, too short. Okay, so up here, like that, and then that right there. And then this goes under here, and then over, and oh my gosh, this is so confusing. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then just like that, we have our very own. Come on, please work. Uh, I didn't do it right. It's gonna take me a couple tries for this one. So you sit over there, so you start Make the Airbnb sign and right on the cross you put this guy and then this goes through here and then this guy goes here and these go through here Just like that we should oh, it actually holds him. It's holding tight. Wow. This actually works Well guys, I guess we have to say this one works Okay, please ignore these little scuff marks. I didn't want to get another background because that would be wasteful. So here's our chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up a little bit. So we're just gonna... Now that looks good. Then we're gonna put it in our jars. We don't need the cap because these are actually made out of plastic and I'm just gonna go ahead and put some tin foil over them. Yeah, that looks good. Ugh, it's all over my hands. Yeah, that's uh, that's good enough. Now I'm gonna put the aluminum foil on the top. There we go, looks good. Now for this guy. Oh, poked a hole. There we go. Now we gotta get our crock pot. Oh, here we go, put them in here. Now we need water. Here you go, drink up guys. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that ought to do it. Let's throw a lid on this guy. It didn't say how long we're supposed to do this for, so I'm just gonna do like half an hour. So I'll see you guys in like half an hour. Okay, half an hour's up. Let's go get it. Here we go. Take that off. Let's see how melted these guys are. One of them actually got tipped over, so uh, one has a bunch of water in it. And I think that's this one. Ew, that does not look very good. I put this off to the side for now. So that's a bad one. This is the good one that I did properly. Let's see, oh, that's hot. Let's see how melted this chocolate is. Here we go. And wow, that's actually pretty melted. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I think that actually worked. If I didn't get water in it, the other one would have probably worked too. So I guess we can say that this one worked. So here's our water filter. Here's our Mountain Dew. Let's go ahead and take this top off. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put that in there. Oh, that is definitely leaking out red. Oh my gosh. This is already not working. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah, that's definitely not working. Oh, that's black. Is that, is that, what is that? I did buy this Brita water filter at a yard sale, so I don't doubt that this is disgusting. Is that black mold? Did they really sell me a water filter with black mold in it? That's disgusting. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say this one doesn't work.
Here's our hair tie. It's actually kind of hard to get it through the air vent and then just like stick my finger in there. So I'm gonna have to use my keys or something. Here we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, got it. And all we have to do is put our phone in there. Woo, there we go. Bixby, turn off. We don't want you right now. Well, guys, I guess we can say it works. Although, my recommendation... Oh, come on, get this out of here. Instead of going through all that, all you have to do is... Got our wires crossed. Shut up, Bixby! Instead of going through all that, all you have to do is put Velcro on the back of your phone, and then... Boom! It sticks! Easy peasy. Robbie Live Hacks! You're welcome. That's my version of this one. Well, don't need this anymore. Okay, so I actually went ahead and bought some uh, canned pineapple because regular pineapple is actually out of season right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and open this up. Don't eat that. I said I don't eat that. Get the heck out of here. Okay, thank you. Ooh, this looks delicious. Here's our cupcake tray. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on here just like that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good. Okay, looks like we're too short. Uh, I'm gonna go pop these puppies in the oven. Okay, here we go. Okay, so 120 degrees, and we're gonna pop them in there. You guys be good. I'll see you in about 20 minutes. We'll see what happens then. Uh, let's see what it looks like now. Dang, these just don't want to like dry. This is crazy. Okay, so it's been on 300. It's been like 45 minutes. They're still not dry. I don't know what the heck's going on. Okay, gave it another 20 minutes. How are we? Oh, they're almost actually dry. It only took an hour and a half. Let's look at these puppies upstairs. Ooh, so here's our pineapples. I mean, they aren't perfectly dried like they are in the video, but it's pretty good. I like baked pineapples. They're not like ultra dried and it took like an hour and a half to really cook. I'd say if you really wanted to cook it all the way through, it would probably take closer to like two hours. Anyway, let's try this bad boy. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, I guess we could say it kind of works. Not 100% because it, it would have taken two hours to fully cook it. So uh, this kind of works, I guess. So this one looks simple enough. Here's our bowl. Here's our mashed potatoes. That looks like it'll be enough. Then we add some of our water. Let's mix this up. I think it needs some more. Oh, this smells so weird right now. I don't think I'm digging this at all. It smells so weird. It didn't say to cook it or anything, so I guess we just have to keep mixing it until it's like ice cream shaped. Maybe just a little tiny bit more water. Thank you to anyone who just said bless you. Man, this is taking forever. Ah, I'm getting it everywhere. Ugh, throw that back in there. This might do it. I'm gonna go get my ice cream scoop. Okay, I couldn't find my ice cream scoop, so we're just gonna use a spoon instead. Uh, get that out of there. Now we're just gonna try and make this uh, very ice cream shaped. Oh wow, this actually kinda does look like ice cream. <gasps> I forgot the food coloring. Here we go. They used red, so I'm gonna go ahead and also use red. That ought to do it. I think like I probably used way too much, but oh well. Mix, mix, mix. Got a lot more mixing to do. See you guys on the other side. This kind of looks like ground beef now, actually. I get a little bit more water. Yeah, I don't know how I'm feeling about this one. I'm adding so much food, die. Okay, I think this is as good as we're gonna get. So, time to break out our cones. So we're just gonna go ahead and make a scoop. Okay, here we go. Get in there. I mean, this kind of looks like ice cream. This could almost pass. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to say that this looks pretty legit. Yeah, not bad. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. What do I do with this now? Uh, well, might as well try it. That was disgusting. Nope, nope, bad idea, bad idea. Okay, so theoretically, yes, you could use two hair ties to just attach your dongle to your headphones, uh, but I have a better solution for you. See this iPhone? You don't need this. There's something way better where you don't even have to bother with that. It's called an Android. Just get an Android. That's my life hack for you. You're welcome. <laughs> have a good day. Okay guys, so here's our sweater. Oh, there we go. Here are our hair ties. Put them on our wrists. Put them on our other wrists. Now we're gonna work our way up our sleeve. And we're gonna make our way downtown. But in all seriousness, we're gonna make our way up these sleeves. Okay, good. So now we're just gonna pull these up. Ha ha! 
Wow, my gosh, my sleeves are really staying up. Oh yeah. Well guys, I guess we can tell this one works. But it kind of feels like I'm losing circulation in my arm, so I'm gonna take these off. Okay, so here's our burger. Granted, it's not gonna look very good because I bought this yesterday. Oh man, there's literally nothing in there. This is like a piece of meat, no cheese, what, like one pickle. Oh my goodness. This is a really not very good looking burger. Thanks McDonald's. Okay, so this is our burger. So this is before, very flat. You can't even see the meat really. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try and improve this bad boy. So first we're gonna start by taking off the top bun and we're gonna get our skewers. Just gonna open that up real quick. Yeah, perfect. Then we get our blowtorch. Just kind of heat that up. Real good. Okay, let's see if this does anything. You ready? Oh, I hear sizzling. I hear the sizzle. Okay, not bad. Ooh, that makes it smell pretty good. Okay, let's do this again. I'm just gonna have to keep heating this thing up until I get all the grill marks. Okay, grill mark number two. Oh yeah, that sounds like a well charcoal burger. Okay, next. Yeah, and that ought to do it. Now for the next step. We add the cheese. Here's our cheese. Oh man, that is way too big for our burger. <laughs> Oh well, good enough. Maybe we'll cut it down for size. Here we go. I'm just gonna. There we go. Yeah, that looks way better. Don't need that anymore. They technically added two pieces of cheese, but I feel like one is fine. Now I'm gonna go get my lettuce. This is actually Koopa's food. Uh, thanks for letting me borrow some of those coops. I really appreciate it. For the most part, all I have is spinach, so I guess that's kind of what's going on there, guys. Spinach burger. I wonder why that's not a thing. Why don't they serve a spinach burger at McDonald's? I don't know. Dude, that looks so much more appetizing now. Oh, this was at the toothpicks. Okay, I gotta go get the toothpicks back. Okay, we're back with our toothpicks. I just need a couple of these. So I'm just gonna lightly stab it like that. Yes, perfect. I feel like these toothpicks might be a little bit too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tips off. Then we gotta get our tomato. Let's go ahead and break out our cutting board. Yeah, perfect. Now we're just gonna slice this baby up. That is one thick tomato. Oops, maybe I can slice it a little thinner. That's a little better. Yeah, there we go. That's a good looking tomato slice. I mean, a little bit light, but I mean, it works. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this on our burger. Yeah, not bad so far. Then all we gotta do is put the bun on to top it off. Oh no, our bun's a little bit ripped, but that's fine. Oh yeah, now that's what I call a good looking burger. So let's show the before, and this is the after. It's very deadly though. I wouldn't recommend eating it because there's toothpicks in here. <laughs> but in case you do, watch my other video over here to see how to remove a splitter. Spoiler alert, it doesn't actually work. But it's still fun to watch, so go do that. Well guys, I guess we can tell it works! Okay, so here's our sandpaper. I'm just gonna go ahead and do something simple, like write my name. Yeah, that looks good. Now we're gonna break out our shirt. This is a classic shirt that I got from that uh, craft convention down in San Diego. I've been at craft site it themselves, as you can see right there. I tried to remove it, but it didn't work. And now, uh, let's go ahead and put my name right underneath it. Then we get our hot iron. Just kind of put that on there. Woo! Yep, that's definitely hot. Oh my gosh. Is it working? Oh my gosh. Oh, guys, it actually worked. The only downside is uh, I accidentally put my name backwards. <laughs> I was supposed to write it the other way. Oh well. I mean, I tried. Well, guys, I guess we'd say that this one works. There's our avocado. Time to cut him in half. Ah! Yeah, that looks good. Ah, good, good, good. Now we're gonna cut open a lemon. Yeah. Then we're gonna squeeze all this on. Yeah, there we go. I think I might have put a little too much. Throw it in this bag. Okay, I'll see you bright and early tomorrow, Mr. Avocado. And these are our results. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this one out of the packaging. I think I might have accidentally froze it. But as you can see, uh, I don't know. They look about the same. This one does have a little bit more brown on the inside. A little bit more yellow. This one is also like frozen solid now, so. I'm not sure if this one really counts. <laughs> A better solution, guys. Instead of covering it lemon and putting it in a bag, you can just freeze them. They'll last forever. Bottom line, guys, my life hack is better. Even though I did it on accident. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this would work. Okay, so here's our tennis ball. All we gotta do is make a little hole in it. Here we go. Easy peasy. Oh man, kids, don't do this at home. I feel like I'm gonna stab my hand. Here we go. How big of a hole do I need? I'm just gonna go ahead and use these scissors, maybe. That'll be a little safer. There we go. Yeah, that looks like a decent sized little hole. Let's try it. So here's the adventure mobile. Let's go ahead and try this. Okay, so I have to try and unlock this door. Oh, it's not even locked. So I have to try and unlock my door with this tennis ball. One, two, and try it again. One, two, and. Nope. It doesn't look like uh, this is moving at all. So we gotta maybe. 
I don't know if this one actually works. Okay, let's keep trying it. One, two, and Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one doesn't work. Okay, let's see if this works. This is how loud the music is outside the cup. That is noticeably louder. It doesn't sound very like equalized though. It sounds kind of off, but it does make it a little bit louder. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this works. So for this, we're gonna need a toilet paper roll. Oh, perfect, this will do. Okay, I need to get all this toilet paper off. That way I can get this roll. Perfect, don't need that anymore. Then we get our scissors and just kind of fold that down. Yeah, cut a little notch in it like that. Cool, yeah, looks good. Now let's see if it'll hold our phone. Wow, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Well guys, I guess we could say it works. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I'm gonna have to put a hole in the wall. Piece of paper. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of crumble it up in a ball a little bit. We're gonna push it in there. Maybe use like the zip tie to help push it in there a little bit. Okay, that's not working. I'm gonna try it with this pen. Yeah, let's kind of push this guy in there. Maybe cover it with some of the drywall that I just drilled out. Just like that. Okay, now let's let this dry. Okay, so I let it sit there for a little bit and it kind of looks like it does blend in actually. If you were to give this like a proper paint job, I would say that this would actually kind of work. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. So for this one, I'm gonna need a can of Coke that uh, just won't open. Now, I'm gonna try my best to make it so that this just kind of falls off, but no promises. Maybe I could just cut it off. Let's see. Woo, it worked! Yeah, don't need this anymore. Now we need some chopsticks. Here are our chopsticks. We really only need one, so now we're just gonna go ahead and poke this, I guess, until it opens. That was terrifying. I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need a minute. Oh my god. Well, I guess we can say this works! How am I supposed to just... Yep, still good. Here's our orange. Here's our straw. And we just kind of shove that straw. Oh, uh, just shove that. Oh, it works! Okay, we shove the straw in there. We just kind of... Come on. Is it gonna work? Just gotta keep doing it. I see juice coming out. I squeezed it and a bunch flew out. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, now let's suck on this bad boy. Oh, that sounds so weird. Okay, now let's try this. Okay, I did get a little bit of juice. Maybe if we do it some more. Okay, let's try this. Oh, I got more juice. I mean, I did get juice, but it wasn't really a lot. So I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work like you'd think it would. Okay, here's our watermelon. First thing we gotta do is we gotta take the cap off this coat. Then we cut holes that are about the size of it. Like this. Okay, first one. Now the second one. Now time to actually take it out. Put that in. Come on, get out of there. Woo, I did it. Okay, next one. Get out of there, come on. Okay, now I gotta somehow get this Coke in here without spilling it everywhere. Maybe if I just, uh, like that. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's getting everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man. I freaking knew this was gonna happen. Maybe I have to just make sure that the hole is deep enough. There we go. Okay, try this again. And then just slowly but surely. Oh my god, it's getting everywhere. I think the side is as full as it gets. Now time for the side. Stay in there. Okay, this is actually getting everywhere. This better be some good watermelon when I'm done. I'm just gonna let this all kind of leak out. I feel like none of it is actually going into the watermelon. Oh, I just got it stuck on my camera. Oh my god, This is so messy. Oh, crud. It's getting, oh. Okay, don't know what this is, but just gonna let that soak in there while I clean this up. Okay, so now I gotta cut this bad boy in half. There's gonna be coke all over the place. I don't remember watermelon being this hard to cut. Come on. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, this looks like a good watermelon. Now we're gonna get our scooper and then just start scooping these balls out. Yeah. 
That is some juicy watermelon, my friends. Yeah, so I'd say we've gotten enough. Let's start making these kebabs. Okay, so we got some raspberries here. Got some strawberries. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna start off with a strawberry. We're gonna get one of our wonderful watermelon balls, which is totally a ball. Raspberry, more watermelon. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, let's try this puppy out. I can definitely taste some of the Coke in this. I mean, if I did the watermelon balls right, this would have probably looked really nice. But, you know, it is what it is. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say if this one works. Well guys, it's time to get my hair wet. It's been a while since I washed these clothes, so I might as well. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, that ought to do it. <laughs> yeah, hair's looking pretty wet. Oh, even my bit is pretty wet. Oh boy. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, got some water on there. Sorry guys. Okay, so my hair's nice and wet. We're gonna go ahead and put this shirt over my head. Just like in the video. Yeah, perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and get our hair dryer. Put this guy in the sleeve. Okay, let's hope I don't get shocked. I feel like this is a joke. I don't think that this will actually work. My head's getting so sweaty right now. How long am I supposed to do this for? Okay, I did that for like a minute or two. Okay, yeah, my hair is still very wet. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. Here's our bottle, here's our paper. Let's see if I can fold this to the point where I can open this bottle. I'm not sure how plausible this is gonna be, but I'm gonna try, okay? Maybe fold it like that. No matter what, I can't fold it more than seven times. It's just physically impossible. So I just folded it another time. That feels pretty solid. Okay, now let's try and open this. One, two, and... Ugh, almost. Probably not. One, two, Ugh. This is dangerous, it cut me. Ouch. Okay, try this again. One, two, and... <sighs> nope, I don't know how the heck. How the heck did they do this? <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's opening. It's actually opening. <gasps> <gasps> I actually did it! I opened the bottle using paper! What? Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say if this works! That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Well, cheers.